Hello YouTube, welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Now today's episode is going to be about being a science major or in um, entering into a pre-medical program. So one of my previous videos was picking a college major and minor. So you went through the experience, you know, you kind of experimented with some courses, and you decided I want to go science or I want to enter into a pre-medical program. So what can you expect from this? Um, I'm just going to try to give you the details and some of the experience that I've accumulated over these um, four years in college. I was very fortunate to have someone tell me this when I was a um, freshman or possibly a sophomore at the time. And the person who told me was a senior, so I really appreciated getting that insight to know what I was getting myself into so I wasn't caught um, shocked by, or surprised at any point, really. Um, so the first point is going to be so you've decided to be a science major. Well, with science classes come labs. And this first point is time dedication. A lot of your friends who are not science majors will not have labs. You uh, will have more time in classroom settings than most of your friends if your friends are not science majors. Um, classes, you know, say it's a Monday, uh, Wednesday, Friday course that's about an hour long each day you have, a f uh, at least in my case, you have a four-hour lab each week. So that's three hours uh, of lecture a week plus the four hours of um, lab each week, making it seven hours per science class. Now, say if you were to just take a different course that did not have a lab, say um, sociology, for example, was a great course that I took, that was only three days a week, no lab. So that's only three hours of time investment a week. So three hours versus seven hours. That's just something you need to take into account. Um, do you want to be in the class that long? If you like it, good, you'll enjoy it. Um, you'll be happy. You know, it'll be tough, but you'll realize how much you're getting out of being in lab and also being a lecture and how the two really tie together. So that's the first one, time dedication. Do you want to be in lab and do you want to be in lecture? A lot. And it's, you know, if you enjoy it, you'll, you'll love it. Uh, the second point is, well, since you have labs, that's like taking an additional course. Um, so you will be taking more courses um, as a science major. Um, say you're taking organic chemistry, a wonderful course. It's, it's really, really fun. Um, the lecture, it's, it's enjoyable. You're going through the courses. You have exams. You may have projects of some sort. You may have quizzes. So you, pre you prepare for that as you would any other class. But there's also the lab component, where in the laboratory, you also have exams and quizzes, um, experiments you're performing each week, a lab notebook you're filling out, and you will turn in your lab notebook at some point to get it graded and evaluated. So say you're, you're just taking a sociology course, that's one class, quizzes and exams, papers, and that's it. Well, for organic chemistry, or for any science course, you have all that comes with the lecture, exams, projects, quizzes, and also the lab exams, project quizzes, and lab notebook. So let's double the amount of work and double the amount of study time. And that's just something you should know going into it, that not only are you, are you going to spend more time in the classroom, you're going to spend more time at home studying and preparing for the classes. Um, so aside from the actual time management, um, I'm not going to make any comment regarding the difficulty of the courses, because I don't, from, from, from my own personal experience, if you take a well-designed well course in any field, it's going to be tough. If it's taught well and it's challenging, that's all that matters. There are hard classes and easier classes within every subject field. So don't get tricked into thinking that just because you want to be a science major, you're going to have the hardest classes. That's not true. The classes will be challenging just as in every other field. And that's just a fact. I think it's more of the time investment people are concerned about and all the more time you have to put into studying that just makes it feel harder or something because it just requires more of your effort. One last point for being a science major is that if you desire to enter into a science program after college, um, being a science major has a lot of benefits because you have first-hand experience and beginning background into your field that will help you when you go into graduate school. I kind of picked at this point in my picking a major video because I find it relatively important that if you desire to go into a graduate program, it's really not a bad idea to take those classes or possibly major in that as an undergrad to prepare yourself for the rigors of graduate school. That's just my own personal opinion. Say if you desire to do basic research, being a science major, 
um, will, you will accumulate a lot of laboratory skills in your different courses and have a fundamental understanding of, say, um, you know, atomic theory, um, molecular biology, biochemistry, and so, and so forth that will aid you in your own research. So these are all things just to, to take into account. Please uh, rate this video below here for five stars. Uh, comment below if you think I left out any important points regarding being a science major or entering into a pre-medical program. And uh, feel free to um, send me messages to my inbox if you have any questions you want to send there. Thank you for watching this video.